live from Austin, Texas, where my dear dog is stuck in the TV. Somebody help him! Please, God! It's Retro Pals with Danny and Alex. Hello, Alex. Hello, uh, Animal Control says this is the fifth time this has happened, and... Uh, they say they're not coming over ever again. Sorry, you're stuck there, dog. Oh, man, I got a record number of animals stuck in the TV this time. Mm -hmm. I guess it's all on me. And everyone watching, your accomplices. Mm -hmm. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. This is Retro Pals, special PS1 import edition. I love these streams. It's been a good long time since we plumbed the import PS1 library. This system had something like thousands and thousands of games, many of which were exclusive to Japan and Europe. And we'll, we would never know if not for the magic of the internet. But doing some research, I managed to put together a lineup of virtual pet games tonight. All from faraway lands, such as Germany and oh. Japan. Amazing. Yeah. I hope you're looking forward to it. I am. Real quick, uh, thank you so much to FM Town's party for the 12-month, uh, one-year resub. Thank you so much. A whole year. Yeah, thank they you. say uh, 12 months of laughter, a full year of hoots, what we try to provide. And thank you very much, Frappe Fiasco, for gifting us up to Arnold Rimmer. Thank you so much for that. Oh, boy. Yeah, we got, thank you. We got a lot of... A lot of subs, a lot of dubs. Thank you to everyone who's dubbed to us. Too. Subs <laughs> subs, and dubs, we can all agree. Retro Pals is shit. Let's all come together and agree on that, if, no, <laughs> if nothing else. <laughs> so yeah, it's PS1 import time. Uh, this is the time where I play a whole bunch of games I'm barely familiar with, and then quit them randomly when I suddenly decide I've had enough. Sounds good. Uh, tonight, I want you to keep in mind that it's the journey, not the destination, that matters. Uh, all that matters is the things we're seeing tonight for the first time, the things we're learning. Uh, just the fact that you're seeing these games here and nowhere else, I guarantee, nowhere else on Twitch, that should be your main takeaway here. Mm -hmm. Not whether I'm good at the games or if the games are any good at all. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, real quick, thank you to Ken Bertian for the 300 bits uh, Virtual Racing 32X voice. Virtual Pet Sim! Sorry, I can't do that voice. <laughs> Virtual Pet Sim! Thank, thank you. Thank you. Oh, boy. So, this week's poll, it shook out like this. The theme was games with fascinating titles. These are games you want to know more about, like what's in the Ultra Box or what is a hyperscience adventure? Uh, it turned out most people were interested in the title Pet and TV with My Dear Dog, possibly one of the greatest game titles ever created in the world. You just want to know what that's all about, right? Yeah, yeah, you do. Pet and TV with My Dear Dog. My Dear Dog? Yeah. My Dear Dog? It's more likely than you think. Uh, also, yeah, I've heard a, seen a couple of folks mention, uh, yeah, Twitch is having some issues tonight. So. Oh, great. Well, yeah. well. <laughs> that should be fun. Also, uh, I also saw that our internet provider is reporting issues in our region, so... Great! So this ought to be fun! Double whammy. Please enjoy up to five frames of a virtual dog being beamed uh, into your house. Thank you so much to Smebble Bear for the 35-month resub. Holy shit, they give us a bunch of dogs, and also, that's almost... That's almost three whole years! Jesus! I, I can do math. Three, I need to... Oh, I have to make that three-year thing. So much to do, so much to see, but what's we gotta get things... The, what's wrong with taking the dog street? <laughs> Exactly, that's what I've been saying. That's exactly what you've been saying. So I did a little bit of research, and we're not going to start with Pet and TV with My Dear Dog. In mm -hmm. fact, there was one game just before that that should give a little bit more context to, to uh, what that game is like. That game is merely called Pet and TV, and we're starting it right now. Cool. Hmm. All right. I uh, also thank the Akadar for the 15-month resub. Akadar says, time for doggos. Yep, we got a lot of them this it's time. It's dog time. Oh, dogs we got so many dogs. I just want to know about that pig. I know we'll get to the pig. We'll but get to the pig. Don't there's worry. There's some pig, okay? <laughs> Our promotions for today have raised a lot of questions that I intend to answer. You maybe better, not, Maybe I not all of know. them will be answered. But we should start here with Pet and TV. Uh, this was not what it was called when it was originally released in Japan. It was initially released under the name Ganbare Morikawa-kun To Go. Despite the two in the title, it is not a sequel. It's just telling him he's to go, I guess. I... What is... Wait, Moo Moo? Uh-huh. This is an offshoot of Sugar and Rockets, I the... believe. The creator of uh, <laughs> Jumping Flash. <laughs> you can't just put Moo Moo Inc. in front of me. And the title they gave it in Europe, Pet and TV, was one that they liked so much that they later used the name for a pseudo-sequel that we're about to see after this. But for now... I... Let's see what this little guy's up to. Pet and TV. This is a this is a Moo Moo game. Yeah. Now you get a whole bunch of different guys to pick from. He's cautious and sensitive. 
He's uh, slightly offbeat and eccentric. <laughs> Honest and quiet. Lively and cheerful. I don't know, I think we'll go for the basic model. I'm just I'm just now starting in this game. I don't need no quirky guy being all like, No, I won't do what you told me to do. In your face, human. I like I like bots that are easy to handle. Same. Won't uh, give me any guff. Some clarification from Electric Boogaloo's funk here. Um, Moogle was a former Ultra. They need the scenario cutscenes and characters in Jumping Flash 1 and 2. Okay. okay, so they were related to Sugar and Rockets, but not necessarily the dev side. Uh, our pit, or this robot, is being named Butt. That! And thus, the game has been now called Butt in TV. <laughs> oh boy, we're off to a great start here. Mm -hmm. There's a butt in the TV. Why is it there? Now, when this game starts, you may be a little bit confused, as I was when I booted this up for the first time last night. Turns out, you're not actually in control of anything. What? what? You just have to watch this little guy observe his surroundings and then tell you when it's time to play the game. Now, you can change the camera angles. You can look at him from a variety of different angles. 90 degrees, 180 degrees, even 270. I... He's trying to figure out how to climb a hill. Okay. Kicking it doesn't work. Arnold Rimmer asked if this is like those little people um, computer games. It feels like it a little bit, huh? Except to it's me, more problem solving. To me, this really reminded me of Jungle Park when I first started playing it. In that you're a little creature in a big world that you have to figure out how to explore. But unlike Jungle Park, you don't actually have direct control over your character. It's more of a Pac-Man 2 kind of situation. Okay, so is there anything you can tell with this robot? Not just yet. Okay. He's setting things up. Well, he's very happy about it, that's for sure. That house has eyes. It's... <laughs> Gotta set up the crystals. Say, this, this is a rare game or something? <laughs> yeah. Burp, 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 burp. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I was getting Minecraft vibes from this, yeah. It's all from the way the blocks look, with the green on top. Okay, okay. now we're being introduced to the video game. Hello. It's Dr. Y. He's in charge here. I... Ugh. I do like this... this... This is weird music. I was like, is this glitch core or something core? Of course something. Let's look at recreation. I love rec recreation. Alright, gotta follow the yellow path. Got it. Well, nothing much we can do now, so let's go ahead and just leave. Okay. Now you have a little bit more fine control over this robot than you do in Pac-Man and Pac-Man 2, but... A lot of the game involves you teaching him how to do things, how to best react to different situations, and he's not going to do what you want the first time every time. We'll see that soon in this tutorial area. I'd never heard of this game until I started researching it this week. Yeah, yeah me either. This is one of those rare Japan and Europe exclusives. Never got a North American release, unfortunately. Oh, um... He's asking your opinion on something. No, don't don't go home. <laughs> I was, I should have responded to him when he first uh, sniffed that device, but now he's just gonna act like a weird asshole. All so right. So I have to tell him no. Don't sniff it. Don't uh, turn it upside down. <laughs> uh, we're being asked if this is lifeline. Essentially, it kind of is. Yeah. It turns out kicking it worked, so now he knows to kick <laughs> the guy in charge. That, I don't know if we should teach our pet to kick. Maybe not ideal, but that's what he learned. Okay. We agree. I got kick. the job done. Kick people in authority if you don't like them, I guess. Mm hmm Our child is going to be a monster. I'm so excited. He always asks for your approval, too. Like, hey, boss, is it okay if I go over here? I feel that. Yes, interact with that thing, but but okay, yeah, I guess kicking it. That's what you do now. Okay, now he... Now we have to, him to kick! Now we have to teach him how to eat properly. Uh, yes. Feel good, happy. Agree. Yeah. Yeah. No, you probably shouldn't kick the food. Smelling, that's close, but it's not what we want. 
No, 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 don't do that. Don't, don't. Also reminds me a little bit of Wonder Project J, specifically trying to teach a robot how to do things. Don't put it on your head. Don't flip it over. Don't jump over it. No. Don't. <laughs> You've poked and prodded and smelled. And don't beat, beat it, Jesus! There we go. There you go. All right. Okay. That's what we wanted. Good boy. Yeah, I definitely get a Classics of Game vibe from this. It's pretty bizarre. I'm not sure if I understand it. I only played a couple minutes just to make sure it worked. Okay. Yes. Stop! <laughs> Damn Please. it, don't kick the doctor! Just, just say hi or something. Okay, we gotta make the robot take the, the CD home. Mm-hmm. If you'll notice, we haven't had any background music except in the uh, the internal house at the beginning. But if the robot's in the right mood, he might give us a soundtrack for the rest of the game. No, don't kick it! Please don't kick this! Oh, here we go. Don't, don't smell it. <laughs> this is what I do when I get a new PS1 game. You sniff, you, you smell, it's like, it's every time, every time. It's like... When you got, like, that copy of Justice, it was just, you are doing backflips in the living room, and there I was like, please stop. Okay. Put it on his head, and now he's requesting to go home. Good. We did it. Goodbye. There he goes. And he will act, depending on what you teach him, depending on how consistently you teach him, and essentially what he wants to do most of the time. I... <laughs> I don't know if this is, a, this is a fully biological egg creature or an orbular robot. It looks like it has a stomach meter down there, yeah, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe he's been programmed with the need to eat. Let's get rid of his tiredness. He's better now. Let's make him full, too. Okay, thanks. Thanks, uh, I'm amazed our robot's not kicking him. Shall I inspect yes! his brain? God! Are you gonna judge me for the things I taught him? He seems to be confused. <laughs> maybe, maybe he doesn't appreciate being kicked by our little friend, so yeah, go ahead and... It's like, please, I need to fix him. Cure his confusion. Oh, good. Well, I don't know what to do now is the thing. I'm not okay. sure the game is going to tell me. Uh, uh, is this the cosmic AI dimension? This is where we sacrifice him, I think. But we're not ready for that. Listen, we want, we all want a robot man to pop on down and fix our brain, but I don't, I don't think that can happen, unfortunately. We have no items, except for the one that he's holding out on us. Whatever, let's just go. Let's, let's leave. Get out of here. Now, if he feels like it, he can put on a background music track, but he may not feel like it. Okay. We'll see what he says. I hope he puts on something good. Oh, he just wants to know where to go. Uh, here? Okay. Oh, that's where he was before. Okay, that's what that tile does. Um, we should probably just go back home. Oh, I can't. Never mind. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm a buffoon. I love any time that he kicks his robot doctor. Okay, I accidentally repeated the last segment of the tutorial, so we'll have to go through this rigmarole again. That's no, okay. We're just picking up our mix CD. And we're very happy about it. Yes, pick up the mix CD. It's the 90s, so I got some Jewel on there. Uh, some Bloodhound Gang. Perfect mix, Jewel and Bloodhound Gang. Ah, he's not supposed to put it on his head, he's supposed to put it on his, in his pack. Apparently. Oh, damn it! That's what's going on. But well, why don't we do that again? Okay. See, the CD fell off of his head. It's no mm, longer there. Okay. Well, time to go back. Sorry, dude. This is one of those uh, learn-as-you-go kind of games, I suppose. It's a mysterious world, and you have to learn about your role in interacting with it. I tend to like those kind of games. Yeah, they're interesting. Um, yeah, the CD was filled with uh, with uh, parody uh, Shock Shock radio songs attributed to Wired Al. <laughs> Five years of the Howard Stern Show. <laughs> yeah, listen to this, you'll learn plenty, kid. You're gonna learn about Fart Man. 
you're going to learn about his terrible movie. <laughs> Legend of, it's got that Legend of Zelda song by uh, Linkin Park or whatever. <laughs> no, by, uh, by System of a Down. System of a Down? <laughs> no, don't. No, don't. No, don't kick it. Don't smell it. This is good. He has to learn. Well, don't, that, don't that worked, the... but... No. Poke it. There we go. There we go. Excellent. You did good, kid. Oh, in fact, there's more to learn over here. Okay. Okay, let's learn some more. Truly, the pet is in the TV. Don't, don't do it. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, an outfit. Ooh, we can be fancy now. Gonna make him wear a sailor outfit. Mm -hmm. Feel good, happy, agree. Yes, yes, he's learning. He's learning. My Got robot it. child. Soon we can... We can make him do tasks for us and earn us money. We can tell him to put on our mix CD. What do we want to do now? We want to download some midis for our mix CD and turn them into MP3 so they actually work. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Great use of midi. Mm -hmm. Well, I know he likes kicking you. Yeah. Either likes, dislikes, or things have no meaning to him. Hmm, okay, so this is an open-ended kind of thing. We're nope. determining his morality. Okay, does he like diamonds, or trees, or... That's a pile of shit. That is a pile of shit. Yes, diamond good. Yes, yes! Yes! Make us rich! <laughs> well, maybe there's something else he can do with it. Don't eat it. Not, uh, no, he's not strong enough don't. to pick it up. Maybe he can push it? He's so baby! He Sorry. is baby. Yeah, threaten it, that'll yes, work. Yes, threaten the, t the, threaten the tree. <laughs> no! Danny! I don't know. Don't, don't teach him to beat the tree! There we go, beat that tree up. Oh, now he knows. Don't, don't beat up shit, please. He ate it. I told him not to beat it up, and instead he ate it. But I told him no, and he said, yeah, I agree, that's a good idea. <laughs> Danny! Why was his first instinct to eat? Did you ever tell your... I, I guess at one point your son heard us telling him to eat shit. I don't know. <laughs> he He's a robot. He takes things literally. Okay. You're being banned over and over and over for hey, he's the one. son to eat shit. He's the one who ate shit on his own accord. <laughs> Had nothing to do with his upbringing. I told him no. End of story. Now we go on our next educational adventure. Go on and kick our, our robot friend. Yeah. Oh, a lot of people, so let's see, some people are saying it said hate it, not eat it, and then everyone else is like, no, he ate it. Oh, yeah, God, he ate loud. it. He ate it and hated it. Mm -hmm. Surely that he can kick. Don't. No, you can't eat the brick wall. There you go. Yeah, yeah do it. Beat it. Beating's good. Yeah, I do love the way that he looks at the uh, audience expectantly. He's, like... he's always asking for approval. God, so he's kind of like a little puppy dog. You can kind of see where they went with this series. <laughs> Go ahead, do your thing. <laughs> Kick his ass. Let's see. Uh, Fethem Town's party says, Aided, hated is Arby's slogan. It's true. <laughs> hate it and hate it. Mm, this looks like one of them block pushing puzzles. No, you no, can't pick that up. You gotta push it. 
Yes, exactly. Uh, this is Toad's treasure tracker, except that Toad eats and hates shit. <laughs> Toad tries to threaten, then beat, then eat. There you go. He didn't like pushing. He doesn't like physical activity. Fucking mood. I he's get he's it. my son for sure. Yeah, we're this is unfortunately our child to a T. Can't think of many other games like this on the PS1, or at least none that came out over here. There were a few more traditional virtual pet games, but this is... It has a different aim to it, you know? Like you're trying to teach it human things, mm -hmm. instead of just feeding it when it's hungry. Alright, let's see his tiny robot brain work out how to solve this puzzle. It looks like a switch, so maybe beat? Or jump Turn, on. Or... Can't push. Yeah, pushing doesn't work. Can't eat it. Notice how his first instincts are stuff that he's done recently mm -hmm. that, that uh, were successful. Can't threaten it. <laughs> I do like that he I do like that that's it. There you go. He's yeah, beat yeah. It. Beating. Go. It's good. We, we encourage you to beat things, unfortunately. He's tired. Oh. Keep going. Keep going. We're doing a stream here. You can't get tired. <laughs> Please don't exhaust our son. You're gonna earn us revenue. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't be like a vlogger and monetize our child. I'm not gonna make him do strenuous work. He just has to hit the ad button every five minutes. <laughs> Please don't make our child do ad reads for like Raycon headphones or something, or Raid Legends. And here's our robot with a word about Casper mattresses. <laughs> I know. So tired. I get Let it. Him sleep. Just... Please. There, switch. You know what to do with that. All right, people are telling this, <laughs> telling you that you need to make your robot do unboxings. <laughs> All right, thank you to Zodaku. Thank you so much for the two-year resub. 24 months. Zodaku says two years. Yeah, two thank freaking you. years. Thank you. Okay, using that flag icon, you can you can make him look at other things. Oh. And occasionally you need to do that because he'll focus on the wrong thing. He's still tired. Hey, buddy, why don't we go to the next screen and then maybe you can go back home. We have two choices, the eaten, then hated, or hated, then eaten. Thank you. <laughs> That's how it works. Oh my god, we are not turning our son into a VTuber. Oh, wait oh a he'd be perfect. He's so cute. <laughs> He's so tired, you're exhausted. He's fine. Listen, I know that he doesn't have to work with SAG rules because, you know, we're, we're, we're not technically a union joint, but maybe, maybe he should press? Robots don't need unions. I don't know. Eight AI chips. Looks like we got one. You'll get it. Uh oh. Hmm. Yes, this is a Quibi show. That's this is our Quibi robot. Oh, it's a fake one. Please let him sleep. Get the thing. What? No, get. He said, this is what happens! This is what happens when you make your, your robot son have to do all this stream work for you. Get the thing. No, he's too tired! No, he's not gonna do anything. Okay, we should probably take him back home. But first, let's pet him on the head. He's done a good job. Oh, you can pet your, you can pet your robot son! Mm -hmm. As he exhausts himself in the corner! I don't think he's gonna be doing anything else, so let's go ahead and use the use the old crane and take him back home. <laughs> Goodbye, son. Yeah, yeah, this is like Tale of the Sun in that way, and he, the way that you're you get tired randomly. That's Although true. I, yeah. It feels less random this time because you know we've been over exhausting him for a uh, cloud, I guess. Dude, right. go back in the house. Go into the house. They'll they'll, they'll wake you up. Is he too? Is he too tired to do anything? Is he? Did we? Did we ruin our son? Is that? Is he wheezing? That's not is a he... good noise for a robot to make. Hey, don't do that. Not in front of everyone. Danny. Not appropriate. 
Thank you to Makes a Lot for gifting a sub to Frappe Fiasco. I do appreciate that. Oh my god, our son. Son, please! There's a big thing I put next to you. Eat it. Look, you gotta... You gotta eat the thing. Just... The robot child is gonna die. Yep. Yep. He's fine. He just has to get up off his lazy ass and eat the food. There. Yeah, eat the food. <sighs> That's so much work. Now go inside, get the rest of your tiredness. I really <laughs> thought he was gonna die in front of our Me eyes. Too, I thought he, was... he wasn't looking too good. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're you've been banned so much, sweetie. Wow, there's no problems with his brain this time. Hey, he's got normal brain. Uh, I don't know if this game is actually available anywhere, like on PSN or something. It was re-released on PSN in Japan, the, the Japanese version, Ganbare Morikawa-kun. That's available. I don't think this version was ever specifically re-released, though. Man, that's a shame! Oh, he's got cool racing stripes on now. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. Uh, I, I would rather sell the item, but okay. Okay. Okay, what I'm hoping now is he will put on some background music, and then we can end our time with uh, the pet and TV. You have to check the treasure box first or something, or...? No! I... No! No! Was that you honking at your son? Yeah, yeah, you have to honk at him to get his attention. Check, check the... I was gonna say check the treasure box, but I, I guess it's already playing, so... No, do not inspect my child's brain. Is the CD not there? Well, I guess it's not. Never mind. Sorry yeah, for I, my I, bad suggestion. I think the CD he just keeps with him, and he has to decide on his own whether we deserve music or not. All right, uh, Lady Lean Leanalia gives us 300 bits. Thank you so much. And asks, can I pet the pet in TV? Sure you uh, can. I know we can pet this guy. Let's go over here maybe and yeah. then interrupt him on his way so we can give him a nice pet give him a pet let's see uh, i just saw revenant saying honking on robo so good night everybody <laughs> streams over okay he's been petted he's been sent on his way he doesn't think we deserve music but the whole game is like this pretty much it's a series of very simple but possibly confusing puzzles because you have a very limited skill set to work with here and you have a disobedient robot child who may end up eating things instead of operating them. He should, you should give him a... Yes, that's good. Beat the sign. I don't like what it says either. Give him a pet. Good boy. Aww. There's a whole lot of game here, but we also have many, many games we want to yes, show off tonight. Do. And hopefully that gives you some idea of what to expect from Pet and TV, the Europe-exclusive localization of a pretty darn good video game for the PS1. Wow, he's... Man, you saw this off-screen, but he's just picking up stuff and returning it home on his own volition. Oh, shoot! I'm so proud of him. He's grown. Our son. All right, let's... Okay, now for the, the real show. This is the, the, the one everyone voted for, the one everyone wants to see. Pet in TV with My Dear Dog. My Dear Dog? My Dear Dog. Hmm... Now, I don't remember seeing many Virtual Pet games released for PS1. That was more of a Windows thing back then. Can you think of any off the top of your head that got released over here? No, I, I yeah. can't really. I guess it was still blossoming in the PC space, so they weren't ready for console ported Virtual Pet games just yet. But here's a real early one. This was only released in Japan. Uh, it uses the Pet and TV name, even though that was debuted in Europe for one specific game. So you can think of this as a pseudo-sequel. Okay, I'm seeing uh, Creatures uh, got a port to PS1. Creatures, that's that. one of them. Yeah. And this one is directly by Sugar and Rockets. So, uh, no, we're only doing import games today, Bob. We're not going to be playing Creatures. Yeah, Creatures not on the docket, but who knows uh, what else we have in store. We've got a lot. Only I do. Okay, I would love to say that Mickey and Minnie Mouse are pets. 
<laughs> you saying my Disney kitchen is a virtual pet game? Pet and TV oh, I with like my the, dear dog. I like this too. It's a pretty pleasant little game from what yeah, I've seen. Alex, I think it's time to take our relationship to the next level. We need a dog. Okay, but we have two cats. We need a dog. I, okay. What, what's the dog's name? Uh, first, we have to enter my name, which is... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And my last name... Or rather... Oh, I got this backwards. It's not important. You're, you're listing your last name first, so technically my name is Man-Ass. Hello, Man-Ass. Uh, everyone wants you to name your dog Digby. <laughs> we could do that. Okay. Ass-Man. Or Man-Ass. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Both are valid. So you can choose an American-style room, a uh, F-style room, <laughs> French, or a J-style room, a Japanese room. We're Americans, so let's go with America. I want to almost know about the F room. What is You want to go with the F room? What is that? We can live in the F room. I <laughs> a, The A room is a nice uh, seaside villa, but oh, we can but explore the F room as I well. I want to know what the F room is. It's so... so Maybe it stands for fucked up. Oh my god! Look at that Look logo. Look at that. That is the Holy perfect shit. logo. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Are you fucking seeing this? Yeah, go to your froom. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing that, dog? Okay, so we have a puppy paid for us, and we get our choice from these four pups right here. Uh, this butt. Okay, yeah, one of buttons lets you... Ah! Now these are PS1 character models. These aren't the best looking dogs I've ever seen. No way! My dog should have like five pixels at five polygons at most night and a terrifying mouth. Oh, it did, that, mouth. it did that mouth thing. I don't want either of those. How about this one? Okay, the first dog not to do the horrible mouth thing gets adopted. Well, yeah, none of them, no dogs. Okay, well, we have to make the best of it. All right, some fun facts about the developer here from Electric Boogaloo. Uh, mm -hmm. It's by High Corporation, who later made Pet Samsters 2 on DS, as well as Pokotan PS1, an English vocabulary learning game. Nice. Uh, uh, made specifically for Pocket Station. I actually remember uh, Pet Samsters 2, if I recall. That was the one with the... Uh, where they wanted, there was actually an RPG in it, and they advertised the RPG elements on the back of the box, but they ended up cutting that from the American localized version. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole, like, Hamster City and Hamster Amusement Park you could build. I don't yeah. know if that was one that they made, but it was no. one of the Pets Hamsters games. Here you can look at their bloodline. You can see what kind of awards their mother and father have won. Hmm. Uh, the father won in the Suzanne What is that? What are, what are dog events in Japanese called? I don't know, but they can do long distance and throw? And expert this is too? Drispep? Oh, these are the name of the, the competitions. They don't necessarily have to mean anything. But yeah, the dad's won a few gold cups. Mom is real freaking good. Look at all these gold cups. Damn. Let's pick this dog. Uh, we're being asked if we can re-roll the stats. There are multiple dogs you can get by chance, but you can't re-roll unless you go back to the title screen, I don't think. Yeah, let's not do that. This one. Okay. Ah, don't, don't, oh god! <laughs> we'll have to teach it to keep its tongue in its mouth. <laughs> it's horribly flat po polygon tongue. Puppy entry. Okay. Now, you said you wanted the name... <laughs> Digby, you say. This dog is named Digby Ass. No! No, it's not! I am... As Mr. Ass here... I'm I, the ass man! I, am, I do not want to have an ass dog. No. No, absolutely not. Oh, what a happy day. We've gone back to our froom. Oh, this look at this French. room. Jesus Ooh. Christ. This must have those, cost us so much money. Those free-floating spiral staircases that one of us is going to get drunk and fall down one of these I was days. Gonna say, we're going to definitely die. <laughs> and what you see here is essentially the game. The goal of this game is to leave it on the background while you do stuff around the house. It is your pet and TV. And you're just kind of casually observing it as you're, it wanders your pre-rendered home. The only polygonal element here is the dog itself, which is why it looks so good. Doesn't it look great? It, it does! 
And For PS1, maybe. Yeah, no, I really like this. I actually like the aesthetics here. I think it looks pretty good. And we have a few menu items flashing, including our mail, and it looks like we need to feed the damn dog, so let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, please, please feed Digby ass. And you can call it with its name, or say good, or no. Let's just, let's just call it by its name. Digby ass. Digby ass dog. Digby please. You really not? There they come. Okay. Took a while. Oh my god, that run. Alright, I saw Final Fantasy VIII dog and Chad. <laughs> You're the best looking dog here. Food. Okay. You do have to check your uh, dog mail, D mail. Oh, of course. Here, yeah. We've got some daily choice food boxes. This is 1,400 calories a pack. Oh my god. And go ahead and buy this. All right. Let's uh, feed our damn dog. Now, there's a whole bunch of different items. This game is super in-depth from what I've seen. Not just in the amount of food items you can get, but all the toys you can buy. Their lodgings. That bowl is too big for that dog. That, that bowl's as big as a damn dog! Oh, we get to tease him with it first. <laughs> no, that's so mean! You want this? Don't tease want this? our son! You want the food? There you go. Okay, it's, it's not that big, but that's that's a lot of food. And it'll just shove its face into it for a little while. And if you have a memory card attached, you can actually take photos of the thing, but I don't. Yeah, this is reminding me of Nintendogs in a way. Yeah, Nintendogs is actually very similar, and it only came out several years later. And again, can't think of much else exactly like this on PS1, so they were technically breaking ground with this. He ate. Can you pet him? Uh, yeah. Let's pet Digby. He can move the hand around. You're like, where's it gonna go? Where's it gonna go? Uh-oh, he's, he's spinning around. Can I, can I pet your head? There you Aww. go, good dog. Oh, you can choose! Let's pet the ear. Oh, it likes the ear. Go back to the head. Oh, that's too much. Okay. <laughs> Let's do the chest. Pet his jaw, and then he eats us. And pet the jaw. Oh, good dog. Angel. Oh my god. He... But you can eventually go too much, and it's just like, no! Yeah, that's fair. Alright, that's fine. This dog is cute. Do I need to water it? Like, don't pour water on our dog. Water the dog. Yeah, the dog animations are nice. I agree. They're, they're yeah. really well done. This was before dog mocapping became a thing, when they started mocapping dogs to put them in Call of Duty. Oh, yeah! Don't tease the dog with water, please. There you go. Have a drink. I said... Have it. No, I didn't want any. Screw you too, Digby. What about the toy? I don't think I have any toys just yet. But now my mail's flashing, so we should go, uh... Well, now your dog's gonna stare at a wall. That's fine. Okay. He needs to explore the place. So this game is not just a dog simulator, it's an internet simulator. Let's go to Dog Online. Wait, what? The internet station. Open the, the dog, on dog online. You want to go to the dog BBS? Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Let's see what other dog owners okay, are chatting let's, about. Okay. Let's let's cause dog trauma with other dog owners. Uh, okay. I think this is a pinned message. It's all like, "Welcome. Uh, this page is about the dogs." Something like that. Puppy get uh, something sailor something something mansion. Is that where we are? A mansion? I, I really... Yeah. Yes, we live in a mansion. You see this fucking house. Hell yeah. Oh, this is the next message. It's from Man. Uh-huh. So it's from you. Oh, I guess that is me. Did I reply? Uh, you were probably like, Don't you dare tell me not to vaccinate my dog. <laughs> or don't you dare tell me to vaccinate my dog. I will never vaccinate my dog or keep it on a leash. Thank you. This one is about dog food. Do they really not have a word for that in Japanese? It's it's dog food <laughs> Hey, whatever works. <laughs> Sorry, we don't have the concept of feeding dogs. Dry, soft, wet are the three types of the dog food. The dog might like it. Oh, I my hope the dog my likes Japanese it. is very basic. I'm sorry. 
uh, using the toilet. Toilet use is so, a thing for dogs. The dog toilet may happen if it does say no. Okay, so dog food is actually usually called Inu Essa. Uh, oh, okay. Essa. It's just here it's Essa. called dog food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can I reply to all these? Can you reply, like, really snarkily, like... I want to be a reply guy. Oh, no. But but the thing is, this is a BBS era, so you're not just going to be a reply guy. You're going to be one of those guys who is extremely hostile for no reason. Oh, here we go. I think the second one is the hostile one. Yes, yes, cause some drama. All right, let's stir things up. Let's stir things up on the old dog internet. <laughs> Wait till they see that. Uh, we can reply to this one, too, it looks like. Uh, you knew uh, something, something. You know or, nothing about dogs. Fuck off. Never contact me again. Or being alone is. Uh, yeah, that one. I dogs love, love being alone. I love being alone. alone all day. That's what yeah. I said. <laughs> all right. Uh, now we we wait for everyone to make comments later on in the day as they get mm -hmm. home from work. They're gonna yell at us. Good. But we also have dog mail, or D mail. Mm-hmm. Now loading. The mail. There it is. Thank you for... Uh, oh, it just says thank you. Thanks for buying dog food. Uh, bye. Mansama, it calls Man. me. <laughs> Something about, uh, yeah, we sent you the mail because you bought our dog. Yeah. I don't think you can reply to this one. I'm pretty sure it's an automated message anyway. You can't reply and be like, I don't like the food. My dog is crying because the food's so bad. <laughs> Let's go back. I think that's all we can do on the dog internet. So this is groundbreaking in a few ways. It's pet simulation on consoles. It's trying to simulate the internet experience. I had no idea this game even existed. Mm -hmm. In this mansion you live yeah. in. I want to look at the... Look at the God, look at this. And from what I've seen, you can't really explore the mansion freely. You just kind of have to let the dog explore and you follow behind. So that's kind of the only way you get to upstairs. you get to become familiar with your own house. No, no, no. Oh man. But then again, the dog is kind of unpredictable, so you can't really tell it where to go. What are you, what's it doing? Uh, that looks like a toilet, honey. That looks like a toilet. Um, I think the dog has to poop or pee or do its dog business. Dig, Digby left to poop <laughs> to the toilet. Uh, something call menu. All right. Uh, call. Who do we call? Do the we, cops. Do, we call <laughs> do not call the cops on our own fucking son here. No. Okay, some more fun facts about uh, High Corp. They mostly uh, the devs of this. They mostly do. Uh, they mostly do U, uh, UX and UI design now for corporations. You okay, Digby? Oh, there it goes. Going upstairs, downstairs. It's gonna poop. Well, ah! All right. Oh, it's so realistic. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> this is a pet simulation. Uh, video games are good. I'm sorry. I ever thought they were bad. This is this is perfect. Oh, yes, it doesn't, good. It doesn't give me an option to clean up the poop. Poop and TV with my dear dog. <laughs> Or being asked, we can throw it like Duke Nukem. Uh... <laughs> Come on! <laughs> it looks like it's already gone, so I guess it's a problem that takes care of itself. Well, that's that's good. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you very much. Good job, y'all, for uh, subscribing. We appreciate that. Uh, nice, sorry thank you. you had to see that dog shit. <laughs> now here we can look at uh, Digby's dog card. Mm -hmm. This get re this gets revoked if the dog does something undog like. Three point six centimeters, six point six kilograms. How about the feelings tab? How's the dog feel? Feelings for you are futsu. What does that mean? I assume it's good. Uh, it. it uh... Stress doesn't have it. Clean. Uh, choto kirai. So it's a little bit dirty. And it's okay at catch and jump. Favorite color is blue. Unfavorite. Color. Ain't, uh, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> Dogs can't see color, right? I mean, they just have lower color capacity, but yeah, they hate the color yellow. They see. <laughs> I like the word unfavorite. I've Me never too. seen it used like that. 
And you can brush up on what its bloodline was like as well. What else can we do with this dog? Is it ready to compete yet? Alright, so Troto Kirai meant, uh, according to Truffle Luxury, means uh, it hates the cleanliness a little. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's uh, gonna get put up a fight if we try to clean it. Oh, new dog mail. Yeah, yeah, give me that new dog mail. You're gonna, you're gonna be yelled at. See if my trolling was successful. You're gonna be, you're gonna be banned from dog dot, alt dot dog dot owner dot troll or whatever. If your dog shits on the floor, you should clean it up. You should reply with like, don't you tell me what to do with my dog shit. Hey, my name's Takeshi. Uh, something, uh, school student maybe? Uh, Uchi no Kotaro, uh, probably something about a dog. Okay. Let, let's troll him. Be nice! Something, something, name, uh, we get to ask him a question here. Why is your name so stupid? Yeah, let's ask him that. Danny, no! Please! Then later today, we'll expect a reply. Hopefully I was nice. I, I hope so, too. Alright, no more dog mail? No. Now, there's little else I've seen in this game, but I do want to show off the pet shop because there's so much stuff you can buy. Jesus. Like, freaking... Oh, yeah, you need to go back to the entrance. All right, thank you very much to Fat Love You for the uh, three-month resub. Fat Love You says, I'd rather have my have my TV dog take a realistic dump on my floor. <laughs> thank you. Now, here in the pet shop, you got many different <laughs> brands of food, including Doggy's Heart, Bow Friends, Natural, Max, and Daily Choice. I like Doggy's Heart. Mm -hmm. Was one of them, was Cemetery something you could go by earlier? We'll get there. We'll get no. there. This game is very in-depth is what I'm saying. And here you can choose uh, different kinds of wet and dry food, as well as soft food, the third category. You could also do goods. Dog goods. Oh, okay, good. Good. This looks like a uh, hound ball. That's what they're called. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, I, I uh, do like that depressed looking bear. A $5,000 bear. That's a lot of. I guess. Oh. Many, 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 many different kinds of things you can buy your dog. It certainly is. Let's buy. Uh... This thing. That's so cute. Yeah, that's a lot of yen. That's like what, fifty bucks for a toy? Well, that's that's really expensive. You can get up snacks. You can you get something really fancy? Uh, what's the most expensive thing here? Dental bones, huh? Forty dollars. Four. Natural. <laughs> I thought that said nacho. It says natural. Okay. Natural uh, dental. Uh, let's see, Truffle Luxury says that was a handmade stuffed animal called me. Yeah, what were the with the whoopee cushions earlier, too? Can you make your dog, like, sit in a whoopee cushion? Can you prank your dog? <laughs> Are we doing dog, dog pranks? Let's do that. <laughs> and you can also adopt new puppies here, I think. No, no thank you. There's the contest. I don't know if Digby's ready for a contest. Let's go ahead and... Oh, we can't register. We have to train first. We can't even train. Oh yeah, we don't have a frisbee or anything. Let's head to the cemetery. This is what I found fascinating when looking at this game briefly yesterday. Of course I went to the cemetery option. You can buy gravestones for your dead dogs. <laughs> Look at this. You can get a simple rock, a nice place marker, Holy or really shit, you can freaking get some elaborate real... ones. You can spend some... Tell everyone I love the shit out of this dog wow. with a 150,000 yen grave marker. I saw that you could... Offering! Okay, yeah, there's also you... offerings. Can you give offerings to other dead dogs? Uh, I don't know. There's a bone on a string. A can of food. Some nice snacks to take with them to the afterlife. Wow! This is a component I was not expecting to be in this game. But there's not just that. You can apparently recall your dead dogs. I don't know if that means resurrecting them or just thinking about the good times. Can you visit? You can also visit the uh, pet cemetery. Do you... Can you meet, like... There's nothing you can do here. The only option is to <laughs> sit here and uh, 
sit here and <laughs> quietly ponder. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that leaf. These leaves are a nice oh effect. Oh my god, this is so sad. See, so yeah, really in depth and not in ways that you would expect. <laughs> like, even after your dog is dead, you can give it a nice uh, burial stone, you can give it offerings, you can actually even sit there, think about the dog. This is amazing! I've never... I, I, saw, I think I saw it was uh, Smuckle mentioned it earlier. The point of a lot of virtual pet games is it's nice to not deal with your these pets dying, you know? But yeah. Here, they don't... They don't do... They don't sugarcoat it at all. They don't fuck around. Your dog is dead. Best is the first word there. I Good. assume that means that Digby is the best dog. Yeah, they're an alive dog. Oh, can we give him steroids? Is that what this is? Please don't juice up our dog. Dog juiced. Oh man, I don't want to juice our dog. You can also move to a different house if you choose not to live in the F house. You can live in the A or the J house. These houses are expensive though. And yeah, 800,000 yen. I think you need to win a few competitions before you're allowed to do that. Hey! That's that's also like Nintendog, where you have to do competitions to, yeah, get your dog to much. earn you money. You gotta monetize your dog. Monetize my dog. I think I would like this game if I discovered it back in the day, but no one ever talked about it. Yeah, Not even people is... who were fans of Sugar and Rockets or whatever. This is a fascinating, fascinating game. I like the way it's presented too. Digby, I got a thing for you. What you got for Digby? This. Oh, give him the cat, give him the cat, give him the cat. Listen, I would love to put Digby ass on Instagram and bother food brands to sponsor us, but... What? What the toy? What the toy? What the toy? There you go. Oh, There's Jesus! Good dog. Aww. Good boy. He's gonna kill that animal. Okay, maybe not. Now, as much as I've enjoyed our time with Digby, unfortunately, this dog is going to disappear as soon as I touch that power button. Oh, that's so depressing! So, Danny, no! But if you get this game, you can make your own Digby and enjoy some virtual time with your dog. Alright, uh, uh, folks, we, we uh, support Pet and TV with My Dear Dog, but unfortunately, we must say goodbye to now, Digby. There's also one word of caution I want to give you when playing this game. When testing it out yesterday, I made a horrible mistake, and I want to simulate what that was like okay. before we end things here. What, what did you do, Danny? We got to go to the entrance. Okay. And I was thinking, this was right after the dog pooped on my floor, and I was starting to explore the options. And I was like, uh, let's go to the pet shop, and let's get Digby, or actually I called it Ass Dog, the first dog I adopted. Let's okay, get, good. Let's adopt a friend for Ass Dog. So I picked the adoption menu, I went in it, and I was just like, yeah, yeah, whatever, give me a new dog. And this is what happens. I'm a little scared. Oh, Danny, what are you doing to our son? Um. Oh my god! Danny, what the fuck? The adoption option is not to adopt a new dog, it's to put the dog up for adoption. Oh, Jesus! So don't just click through the menus, especially if you make a dog that oh, you become you attached so to. Ba you're being banned so much I can't read the chat. In fact, this is... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Danny. I gotta join in. Come on. It's a public service. I had to show you not to do what to do, what I just did. And it turns out you can get other dogs for 100,000 yen each, but if you buy them and then give them up for adoption, you have no way of earning more money, and thus you're in a walking dead state. Literally, I'm pr I have never seen this one in all these bandanis. A word of warning. Do not just click through the menus blindly on the adoption menu. 
Oh, Wasn't that the saddest thing ever? They really That's rubbed it in. Fuck, Danny, why just, the fuck did you do that? Just showing the dog and being like, oh, I don't want to go. And then it just leaves. Oh, Danny. This game, it's, uh, it's really something. Pet in TV with My Dear Dog, featuring Digby. Next up, we have another game that I only know of by name, and I figured it was promising for this week's stream. It's called Pet, Pet, Pet. Okay, what's it about? Pet. Uh, okay. I, I figured it was about pet. Yeah, that was pretty different from the last pet in TV, wasn't it? I guess mm -hmm. they just took the title and ran with it. Yeah, hopefully... Anyway, Dig Digby's fine. He can live out on his own. No, Digby hopefully will be adopted by someone who loves them. Doesn't just shove their, their pet into a fucking... Outside the door. Like, I like leave. the wagon, too. Like, you just shoved your dog on a wagon and just pushed him out. Ooh, it's magical. Well, Digby's living his best life. Don't worry about Digby. For now, we have a game by Magical Company. And this intro, I think you're going to like this intro. All right. Well, I'm excited for pets. Here they come. Um. There they are. It's a frickin' stampede. <laughs> uh, holy shit. <laughs> we got corgis, we got camels, we got cats. We this got is too many fucking pets, no! Pet, pet, pet! Okay. Now, is that, or is that not, the best intro you've ever seen in a PlayStation game? Look at this art! Holy shit! It's pretty cool. Alright, so, uh... Do you just get a lot of pet options, or... What is this? Uh, the name here is Pet Shop. Let's go ahead and keep that. Okay. And this is a game about running a pet shop. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It has a, a free mode down here in addition to a selection of scenarios. And as you finish the scenarios, you unlock more of them. Okay, okay. First one, I think it's something like sell 10 pets or something. Okay. Let's see if we can do that. Now, I didn't get very far in this game at all, so we're only going to see a few minutes of it. But maybe you'll see something you like, and maybe you want to check it out. This part, for whatever reason, is FMV. I don't know why. Okay, I like the ominous music. Always a good sign. Alright! I didn't want to put Digby up for adoption. Now I'm, I'm mending my ways by finding homes for other dogs. You're atoning, honey. I like this evil penguin. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with this guy. I... It seems like they're in the shape of the pet store. Oh god. We are... We are tripping hard here, honey. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Running our own pet shop. Alright. Also, uh, Jordan Mallory mentioned that they have a... Uh, their neighbor has a giant pig in their backyard. Wow, cool. I am. Pigs are pretty cool. Jealous. I want to see a giant pig. All, all we have in our neighborhood are fucking roosters or a bunch of Billy Hatchers. We don't know yet. <laughs> do roosters crow throughout the day? Because they sure do here. They do, yeah. They crow whenever the fuck they want. Alright, the monkey's asking if he wants us to show us through the game, and I say yeah. Show us the basic features of Pet Pet Pet. Okay. In this window, the pets are... They Inu, sure are. Inu and uh, Neko alike are in this window. This looks like your money. Uh, do something wrong and it's a game over. Got it. Don't fuck up. It's the time of day. It's your swimming pool. Oh wait, no, it's a map. Okay. There's the... I don't know what that is. It's something. Maybe it's the animals you have in the shop? I don't know. You can push the square or triangle buttons to do things. Mm -hmm. I think the art in this game is pretty good. I really like this art style a lot. It is, it is so good. Uh, right. Do you want the pet goods? Yes, give me the pet goods. So it's winter now. 
pet. Let's stock up on pets. Or no, wait, we're looking at people who want the pets. That lady wants an elephant? Hey! Oh, that's a pretty tall she order. She wants an elephant and a monkey! I want to know more about her. Oh, she specifies African elephant, not European elephant. Not, not Asian elephant. It's gotta be an African elephant. <laughs> is she gonna... Is she gonna... Let's, uh, let's start off easy with the guy who wants the Siberian husky or a beagle. I just... Does she want... That's... Lady, that's kind of... Are we an illegal pet seller? Maybe. There you go, a nice Siberian Husky for you. Oh, very cute. There you go, enjoy your dog. And we can also stock pet goods. So, what do we do? Is that, that a dog jersey? Maybe? Like, their dog was just like a, like, a, they play dog football. Cool. Okay, that looks good. Okay, we got some goods. Okay, got some info from Electric Boogaloo Funk here. Uh, Magical Company, formerly Home Data, uh, are a Kobe-based studio dating back to 1985. Uh, they developed Squoon on the NES and Rekai Doshi, uh, Chinese Exorcist for Arcade. Oh, this is Home Data. Man, they yeah. go way back then. Uh, look at the heart to see what they feel. This guy doesn't look too happy. He's 48 years old. He's, a. Uh, he lives in Pepper City? That's what that says. Oh man, the Home Data Magical Building hasn't changed since the 80s and looks like this now. Whoa, it's been reclaimed by nature. <laughs> Look at how cool that is though! I want to live in a re- well, our, I looked at our backyard is a little reclaimed by nature, but still, that is so cool! Here, take the dog. He doesn't want the dog. I want to I live in the Home Data Building. And now the game begins. Now, the guy didn't take the dog, but I think if you go back to him again, you can make him reconsider. Okay, translation info. Uh, according to the map, we live in Lasagna Village. Cool! Thank you, Simon. I am I am very proud. I am Lasagna Village proud. <laughs> Do you think we're going to have, like, a sports team? Like the Lasagna Village uh, lasagnas? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, that guy's heart's breaking. That uh, dog is breaking! That dog is... Look at that dog! <laughs> Holy shit. I don't want to go with this guy. And the guy's like, I don't want to go with this dog. I hate this dog. I hate this guy. Well, maybe we should reconsider then. Let's find this dog a better home. This game is essentially about finding homes for animals with the appropriate owners who would appreciate them. Right now I'm looking for that one guy who wanted the husky. Is this him? I think so. I made a positive. Oh, okay. Oh no, this is a nine-year-old child. Please don't give a nine-year-old child a husky. Yeah, husky. The uh, this one? No, it's heartbreaking. Thank God. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If you're gonna give anyone a, a husky, it should be someone who wants a husky. Well, let's go find a husky wanter. How about this 62-year-old uh, guy? Hey, do you, you want, want our husky? Do you want our husky? This dog's really Juan Paku. Do you like Juan Paku dogs? I mean... Oh wait, that means mischievous. Shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no one wants a mischievous dog. Oh, they're still... Okay, Magic Data is still in that building. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. You! Do you want this dog? Aw, it's so Juan Paku! Oh, I don't know. This looks pretty good. Kashikoi. I think you're trying to pitch this dog. So you're all like, oh, it's weird, or oh, it's really mischievous. Let's go with Kashikoi. I assume that's a good thing. It's a smart dog. Well, the dog okay? doesn't. The dog ran away, but we gave it. We gave it away. Good. Okay, that's what happened. The dog has a home now. Oh my God! Look what's going on in that house. They are. You riding the dog? That's a puppy. You can't ride a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so it's, thank you so much to my friend Dragon Sword for the sub to appreciate the cut. Cool, thank you. And thank you very much to my friend Dragon Sword for uh, gifting five subs to our chat. Thank you Sweet, so much. Sweet, thank wow. you. Much appreciated. Hell yeah. Now the thing I like about this game is it gives you little cutaways about what the dog looks like while it's doing whatever. Uh, usually, when I tested it out, the dog was just happily in a house, but this dog ran away right away. 
and it's uh, it's not coming back. I don't think. Um, this is definitely a. I think the dog's gonna pop. take this dog's gonna take a train. <laughs> what? It's on the train tracks. Well, I think the dog. <laughs> The dog's headed for Brooklyn. I don't think, uh, I don't think he's coming back. <laughs> oh my god, that dog! No, oh, wait, here it is. Okay. Oh, they're Good. back. They just... It's our neighborhood. <laughs> okay, I think they're taking the dog for a walk here. Dude, this dog gets everywhere. Oh my god, so what about the elephant? Let's see if we can get an elephant. Let's go back to our pet store. I can only assume we're illegally importing pets and <laughs> selling them to people. Where was our store? I already forgot. Is this it? Yeah, uh, let's see, no barks till Brooklyn. <laughs> okay, we have some more reasonable requests. Let's go ahead and see if we can get that African elephant. Yes, yes, yes! That is a ridiculous fucking request! Okay, we can get a male elephant that's five years old, but she doesn't like it all, and it's 250,000 bucks. Mm -hmm. Or we can get a female elephant, which she really likes, and is 400,000. We can't afford either of these creatures. Okay, I know she also wanted a monkey. Can we get her a monkey? Oh, somehow we got the elephant and we, we put ourselves in debt. Oh, we could have gotten the... Oh, man! Hell, let's get the monkey, too. This lady's face is gonna be so ripped off! Oh, no, I got two monkeys. Oh, my God! Put it, put it on my credit card, please. Please, God, don't look... Oh. Contact Chase Bank for more information. Oh, no, 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 no! This lady is dead! Hey, you, buddy. You want an elephant? Oh, this 80-year-old grandma? I think she needs an elephant in her life. I... Please don't! I got you this nice African elephant. Look at this. Majestic creature. Very intelligent. She's like... I'm not currently looking for an elephant, she says. <laughs> Strangely enough. Yeah, don't... Don't have an elephant as a pet, nor a monkey. Oh, we got a 12-year-old in here looking don't for... Don't give her an elephant! I'm sure a 12-year-old is a very responsible owner of... A nice monkey. No, 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 no. Look at that. Oh, this monkey's so smart. All right, we gave the child Why a monkey. Why did you sell a child a monkey? Twelve-year-old and a monkey. Perfect match. No! No! You're so irresponsible, sweetie. There it is. Please. Please enjoy your new monkey. No! Well, uh... Is he giving me a password? <laughs> 8169? <laughs> this monkey knows the the key code to get into the I don't know. She is, yeah. I guess the the parents are they're gonna she's gonna go home and be like, hey everybody, a strange uh, a strange uh, adult sold me this monkey. Oh, look what he's after. It's like I would like a monkey, please. This man can use a monkey, I believe. It's Ross from Friends. Yes, we're gonna ruin this town by giving everyone monkeys. Give him that monkey. There you go. This monkey's really, uh, one Paku. Oh, he doesn't but, want it. But why is this heartbreaking? He wants the monkey! That's the contradiction of mankind, Alex. They say what they want, but not necessarily... That might, that might not be the truth. They say what they not want, but they don't say what they need. Okay, I got paid. I'm um, still deeply, deeply in debt, however. But you did get paid. For, I, got, I assume, your monkey. I gotta pawn off this elephant on someone. Please, I gotta, give I, someone this elephant. I gotta make my money back. Okay, this person says they want dogs, so maybe they want an elephant? I mean, a cat! A, an elephant is just a very large cat, if you think mm -hmm. about it. A large... You see, you, elephants are like kittens. They say to adopt two at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Come on, lady, you love an elephant. Look at this cute thing. Don't don't say it's heartbreaking. Yeah, it's. Yeah, yeah, a nice elephant, a nice wanpaku elephant. Okay, do you want a wanpaku elephant? I barely want a normal elephant. <laughs> <laughs> this elephant's gonna get in a lot of trouble. Don't go to an.
apartment building to sell an elephant to someone. I think that's a great idea, Alex. No! Oh, got his heart broken at the last minute. Man, please! I don't think he was a serious buyer. Anyway, this is a pretty strange game. You get to manage your own yeah. pet shop and watch this 3D world gradually grow as people are matched with the animals of their dreams. Some people want elephants, some people want monkeys. This monkey, he's thinking. He's plotting. This monkey's gonna grow up and turn into a chicken, I guess. <laughs> I was gonna say, our, our faces are doomed. That's Pet 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 for the PS1, available only in Japan. I ought to check this out more someday. This looks like it could be pretty fun, mm -hmm. just watching the city raise up and, you know, it's just eventually a town where everyone owns their own elephant. What could possibly go wrong? Well, let's, let's okay, this nine-year-old child came up to us. Let's give him an elephant. Okay. This is a really one Paku elephant. Oh, like, I'm not... Oh, I want, a, I want an elephant that's less naughty. <laughs> Maybe someday we can pawn off our naughty elephant, but for now we should move on. Next up... How familiar are you with dogs, Alex? Would you call yourself a dog master? No, I would say I'm a dog neophyte at most. This is the dog master. Okay, so it's not for me then. They call me the Inu Tatsujin. Master of dog. Hmm. Quick, tell me a dog breed and I'll tell you if I know it. Uh... Siberian Husky. I knew it. Damn. I was, I was familiar with that dog. Now, from what I can tell, this game is based on The Dog, which was a popular brand back yeah, then. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. All you, can, you, you can probably fill me in on that. All you late 90s, early 2000s freaks. I don't know why I'm calling you freaks, sorry. But all y'all, do you remember The Dog? Like, I know it's from Japan. I only saw this as a series of photographs that used a fisheye lens to make the dog's uh, nose look real big. Yeah! And there were a few games based on that somehow. There were stickers and, like, a lot of folders. There's a lot of paper media, ephemera based off of the dog. And and I don't... I don't get it. It's, it's a zoomed-in nose dog, yes. Yeah, yeah. And here they are in anime form. The dog master. Oh, their noses are way too fucking big! I don't know about this art style. Maybe it'll grow on me. Okay, people in chat have definitely heard of the dog with the fisheye lens. Okay, good, good. I think this is a series of mini games, but the most in-depth one is the, uh, the quiz mode. Which somehow is less about you answering dog questions and more about training a dog to be able to answer questions about dogs. Alright, I have to... Sh I have to show off the... I don't know if I can find it by searching the dog. The dog. Okay, folks, let me... This dog is a miniature schnauzer. Okay, the dog is... I'm going to read from the dog's website. Okay. Uh, the dog is the highly successful puppy photography franchise from Japan. This is, Launch... uh, this is Milk the... Piano something. Oh wait, no, she's a chihuahua. She likes piano. Go on. Okay. Launched in 2000 is a collection of calendars and postcards. These adorable images took over the store shelves and became an instant hit with collectible plush, t-shirts, stationery, and so much more. Artless collection animals are photographed with a fisheye lens at unique angles known as strange ratio, creating an adorably enhanced image. Enchanted image, I should say. It is the enchanting. The images of universal appeal and create an awe factor where everyone becomes a fan. You see what's going on here? We have to climb the stairs to heaven. This is Coco. She's a poodle. A poodle. She's a poodle. I like that they're. This. We have to climb the stairway to heaven. Okay. So says Doctor Dog. I yeah. Everyone's at that strange ratio. This here is Cookie, a Yorkshire Terrier. He likes manga. <laughs> I like his dress. These dogs are pretty cool. Alright, so there's also... Let's see. Uh, the dog brand is now evergreen timeless because the photographic images translate so well to be put on a product. McDonald's had large multiple huge promotions and delivered brand awareness to a 
to a family audience worldwide, and new animals like the cat, pig, rabbit, duck, and the hamster are now. There's a the cat? I hadn't seen that. Mm hmm. Let's go to breed, see if I can find the cat here. Show me the cat. Uh, I see a lot of uh, cookie players here. This game is blessed. It's pretty nice, it's pleasant. Now we're moving up in the world. <coughs> we gotta go to the old dog Gakuin to learn how to be a dog. Well, these are a lot of dogs. But I don't see any cats. But still, that's... Oh, there we go. There they go. Oh my god, these cats, Danny. Oh, they're cute. They have really big noses. They are, their noses are way too big. Why is... Okay, this is just a picture of the cat's ass. I don't... <laughs> we got 20 questions here, and the poodle needs to answer 70% of them correctly. Got it. You ready to challenge the dog quiz? Mm-mm. I'm not ready at all. Too bad. Here it is. Question one. Uh, you can read that. What's the answer? Uh, three. Incorrect. Okay, sorry. Actually, the Scotch Terrier is uh, something, something stuff. Okay, so these are questions about dog breeds. Yeah. Okay, cool. I would say one to two. Oh, that's incorrect. Damn. It's actually... Four to five. Four to five. Hmm. Should have known. In the anime, Anpan Man. <laughs> okay, so stop so, question. Something like, uh, Jam Oji-san does what? Ham, pan, cheese, or bacon? Bacon. I want bacon. It's bacon. It's bacon! Oh, come on! It's not bacon? Dogs don't know it's not bacon. Oh my god. Sorry, I was showing the uh, it dogs. It was cheese, actually. I'm looking at the dog's Instagram account, and... I got it! Well, I looked when I could. That's good shit. That's all good shit. Okay, one question right. Scotch whiskey, uh, black and white. Mmm something about the label. Sky Terrier? Scottish Terrier? I want to say a Scottish Terrier. Airedale? Or Irish Terrier? Uh, it's gotta be a Terrier of some sort. Scottish, let's say. I was hey! right. Hey! Congrats to Danny. He knows about that whiskey. Mm-hmm. I guess there's a dog on that particular whiskey. Damn. Imagine being a whiskey dog. What a life to live. <laughs> So it goes on like this. There's a whole lot of questions you gotta answer. And if you do well enough, you move up the ranks and progress through the story mode. I think there's also a puzzle game, possibly other mini games included in this, but this is mainly to promote the, uh, the dog brand. Mm. It's to spread the dog awareness. And now you're aware of the dog. I'm gonna see if this ends after 10 questions, and if it doesn't, I think we're gonna move on to the next game. That's fair. Sorry, I'm still looking at the dog, and I saw the duck, the hamster, the, the ferret. Pig, the ferret. I love the ferret. I love them all. Are you winning, Danny? I am. Good. All right. If there's a question in eleven, we gotta. Okay, yeah. <laughs> if you love weirdly proportion proportion dogs and also dog quizzes. Why not check out the Dog Master on PS1? I wish there was a big dogs game. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be one. It could happen. License it. Make it into a Xbox One exclusive or something. Microsoft has the money. Yeah. They, they, don't, they don't need any. They, they, they saved some money recently. Yeah, they yeah, they're good. Into that. Yeah. Now, I wanted this stream to be all games about dogs, but I think we have to stretch the definition a little bit to uh, accompany the virtual pet genre. Pigs. They call them nature's dogs. This game is Th about pigs. What? It's called Butage de Injanai. Okay, I, I know you asked it for this. Uh, do you want me to show off the cover? Yeah, why don't you show off that cover? This is how I was introduced to the game. I saw this cover on eBay. And the translated title they gave was Piggy Game is Okay, Isn't It? Though in the context, it's probably... Um, 
the context is probably more like it's okay if we call this a uh, pig game, right? That's probably a more accurate title. All right, uh, video game king gives us the translation of "y'all up for a pig game." Yeah, which... something like that. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! I'll, 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 I've always I don't want to take this down, honestly, but I got it. We're starting the game. The, the piggy game. It's okay, isn't it? This is by Shangri La, a company I know nothing about. Uh, when I saw him on the cover, I assumed it was a cigarette brand. <laughs> Oh my god. So, I have infinite questions. Look at him go. I have... There's that smoking... Okay, you know what? I was afraid one of the pigs wouldn't actually be smoking, so I'm glad they are. No, you gotta have truth in advertising. Of course the smoking pig's in here. And hopefully we get to play as him. What little I've seen, this seems to be in the vein of pet simulation games, but a little bit different. Yes, we do get to pick that pig. His yes. tie says Max. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, slow, slow down. Max, you're going to... It's Puff Puff Pass, not Puff 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 Puff. <laughs> oh my god. Everyone's favorite emphysema pig. <laughs> I... It just makes him stronger. <laughs> Race, dude, you're gonna get winded. Here we are in our smoking pig's house. That guy plays pachinko, and you know it. Yeah, that cigarette never leaves his mouth. He is so mad that they just banned indoor smoking. At, uh, <laughs> it's bullshit, Japan. man. It's part of our culture, damn it. Our pig culture. Yeah. Here, you can make him do all kinds of things, and I think the main goal is to train the pig up to perform in all these Olympic events. Yeah, like a race. Uh, let's go in here. He's ready to eat. He still- he doesn't even take it out when he's eating, my god. <laughs> That's dedication. Let's give him two of these. Yeah! And one of these. He lives in, like, a wood thing with a straw floor, and he is a goner, man. He falls asleep with that in his mouth, and yeah. He's fine. Alright. Piggy you're... Pizza, here it is. Speed went up. Stamina went up. Stamina okay. Max went up. He has, he, when he eats, his cigarette goes to his hand. I kind of love that. <laughs> I'm glad they thought of that. Yeah, how can he taste? Yeah, like load. How can he taste anything with the with the smoking that much? But hey, you know. Let's see what's on the radio. Oh, he's, li he's listening to Pig NPR. This is real crime with pigs. <laughs> and you can just sit here and observe the pig listening to the radio. If that's a thing you want to do. We got business, though. Let's move on, pig. That... that was great. Uh, real quick, uh, Electric Boogaloo mentions Shangri-La was formerly Kapiya System. Developers of Cutie Suzuki, No Ringside Angel, and Air Diver for Genesis Mega Drive. Ooh, Deadly okay. Deadly Scramble and Bionic Battler for Game Boy and the PC Engine version of Sega's Power Trip. Nice, yeah, Kapiya has done a bunch of stuff. They're kind of a lower tier developer, but it would make sense they moved on to this game. Alright, multiple people saying National Pig, National Pig Radio. <laughs> Good, I wish I thought of that. Oh, you, you can't smoke when you sleep! You're gonna die, motherfucker! Uh, I'm sorry! Sure, let's go. No. Oh, we, we moved on. Okay. Oh, this guy's fucked. Alright, so that's the option to move forward a couple days. Let's go ahead and feed him again, since I think he's up for it. I... can you... can, can he race? Like... Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and race after we feed him here. I love this animation of bringing in the pig slump. Yeah, all I can think of is that man, you're... Hone. Hone is bone, right? So it said bone 28 up. Did he oh. gain 28 bones? <laughs> this pig is going to have the most bones of any pig. Oh no, it's Wanpaku points went up. That's not a good thing. Uh, I do not want a Wanpaku pig. Please, go. Oh look, he's playing PlayStation. With a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. What do you think he's playing? Uh, you know, probably one of those RPGs with the, the, the ASCII one-handed controller so he can smoke with one hand and play with the other. Beautiful. That's kind of why they made those controllers to begin with. Let's go race. I think he's in good shape. 
Yeah, take off your tie. We're in. Did you just, he like smokes when he sleeps. He's beyond a chain smoker. He is just. He's addicted. This pig's having a nick fit. All I gotta say is this pig, when when he finally fucking gets out there, he is like, he's pre-smoked. He's gonna have that nice smoky flavor, and it's gonna be awful. Pure nicotine flavor. Oh, God. Oh, we, okay, no, let's do this right this time. Okay. You have to race. Uh, Revenant says he's addicted to pigotine. Good night, folks! <laughs> Special kind of pig. Okay, let's go in this one. Yeah, that one. Pig Racing Association. <laughs> Let's do a foot race. Let's okay. do that. He's going to take two steps and be like... <gasps> I was going to say, there's no way he's going to be able to do this. I, I hate... I hate... Oh, I we're making him do it in the snow. <laughs> it's fine. He's a champion pig. Ugh. Yeah, Max, he's gonna get all the other pigs kneecapped. Oh, look at those pig spreads. He still has the cigarette in his mouth. <laughs> Go! Oh, he's off to an early start. Our pig friend. Coming out in front. How? Leaving the competition behind with his super-powered cigarettes. Yeah, bump him off the road. I like that this has an actual announcer, too. Yeah, I love the announcing here. Go, 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 go! Go, pig, go! Oh, you can rotate it around. Look at this. He got in, like, uh, fourth place, it looks like. Look at how exhausted he is! Mm -hmm. He did a good job. That's a good pig. That pig took off. Yeah, yeah, I guess this would fit into the, uh, the horse racing genre in Japan. That's true, yeah. Only there's no jockey involved. Yeah. It's more about, uh, just raising up the pigs you have mm -hmm. instead of breeding or jockeying them. K. Price says, that'll do, pig, that'll do. <laughs> that'll do, pig. Fourth place, that'll do. Oh, oh, okay, okay, my connect- okay, good connection there, because Electric Boogaloo mentions that Shangri-La- Oh my god, hold on! <laughs> He's being dragged away! <laughs> Uh, Shangri-La apparently made a bunch of horse racing games in the year 2000, so... That makes perfect sense. So, fourth through seventh, they aren't too happy. My pig is just taking it in stride. Uh, yeah, Stoically happens. smoking it away. Oh my god, I guess that pig is... <laughs> yeah, that pig is, uh, dinner. <laughs> For our prize, we won nothing. Fourth place is first loser in the pig world. Oh, okay, they closed in 2000, but they made a bunch of, uh... Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so Shangri-La closed in 2000, but before that they made a bunch of horse racing games, and... Butake de Injanai. Alright, he's all rested up. What do you say we give him one more meal and then send him off on another race, and then okay. I think we can move on? Give him, like, a really good one. Like, make our... Can we give him steroids? I'm giving him one of each kind of food. Okay. He's gonna make us proud. He gained 18 more bones. Mm -hmm. Good, he needs more bones. Some more speed. I'm just saying, he needs to vape at this point, I think. Or at least put out the cigarette while you're eating. Like, can you can you get him, like, maybe some patches, you know? I just, I, I just don't think this is healthy for him. I told it to Ton Ton. What does that mean? Oh. We went out to the, the store. That's what the tone tone is. Is that, is that what's with a the firework? What's with the sexy anime girl poster? This looks like just a place to buy illegal goods or something. Not illegal goods. Oh, it's just, it. it's pig food. Okay, just pig foods. Can you get fireworks? Pig medicine? Probably. Let's get some of whatever that is. I think he's ready to race. All right. Let's see what other kinds of races they got. Man, if they had a smoking race, oh yeah, he... this pig would dominate. He's the smokingest pig in all of Japan. He should probably do that a little less. I'm sorry.
sorry to judge him, but... We got an open spot in the, uh, what are these? Senko Sashi Oikomi. Anyone happen to know offhand what these are, or if any of them is particularly funny? Mm. Like, if one of them is a, a hopping race or some kind of uh, pogo stick competition, I'd be interested in that. Mm -hmm. Also, if one of them is a smoking competition, I would I also be interested. Do that. Um, let's see. Uh, well, Fire Mountain says the cigarette is his limiter. Once he stops smoking, he'll destroy the competition. Yeah, I don't think both <laughs> folks have a no preferences here, so go with what you feel. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. Hopefully it's, uh... Come on, pogo stick. Come on, smoking competition. Open. The record is held by Peekapoo? Wait, what? Is this after Pokemon? Would that be intentional? Who knows? Oh, I think it's just a different kind of foot race. Whatever. Okay. He's gonna win this one regardless. Yeah, do it! Go on, pig! Come on, pig! Hey, pig, pig, pig! Kick the other pig's ass! That's right. right oh, he's him. coming up! He's coming up! Come on! Get him addicted to nicotine! Come on! Oh, look at him! He's coming from behind! He's doing it! Yes! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Our man. Oh, shit! Our yes. man, the pig! Yes! Go, pig! Go, pig, go! Second place, not Second bad. place! That is a pig to be proud of. He's out of breath for some reason. <laughs> I wonder why! Yeah! I feel good about that. Okay, so this came out in February 1998. It's post-Pokemon, so it's probably a Pokemon joke. Seems like it. Oh, what do we get for second place? Um, and which of these pigs is going to be dragged away? Oh, this one. This poor pig. Rip to, rip to that poor man. That poor pig. Sorry, pig. He's going. To, yeah, he's going to Picatory, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your DreamWorks ass face! <laughs> Alright, I think that's gonna be my new icon on Twitter, just that, that horrible face. The other winners were shocked, and ours was just like, yep, <laughs> I belong up here. Fridge says pig champ. <laughs> For real? Good. A lot of potential icons could come from this game. We won $650. For our placement, our second place finish in the pig race. Good work, Piggo. I don't hey. even know his name. His name is Piggo. It's Piggo now. That's... I don't even want to do anything else after that, you know? That was pretty fantastic, actually. And that actually concludes the scripted part of tonight's program. Not to say it was scripted, but it, it was at least basically planned. Up next, I have some more... Uh, questionable games, which aren't necessarily virtual pit games, but they involve dogs. That counts, right? Uh, yeah? Let's play this one. Is this... I've never heard of this before. I hadn't either. Huh. Let me introduce you all to the world of K9.5. This, this is, no, no. This is not pornography. Not, <laughs> I've, no. I've played it enough to figure out that much. Yeah, it's K9.5-1. I have no idea what the fuck this is. Danny knows what it is, but I'm, I'm out of my league here. There's so. five of these. This is a series of five games. Now, y'all ever heard of Lightspan? This is a company who released at least 200 games for the PS1. You don't know this because they were released exclusively to America's teachers. They put what? all these in binders, and they bundled in special educational PlayStation systems. And you could essentially teach a kid an entire hey, year's worth of five. math or no, history or whatever it. using this. Look at these designs! Okay, this is like the educational road rovers. Alright, okay. Let's get introduced to these dogs. Uh, yes, please. Hi, I'm Ella. I sing and play the keyboards. She's Wait. also our group manager. Ella books all our gigs, like the Airedale concert. Wow, next thing you know, we'll be playing Rockweiler Hall. So, so they're a band. Uh-huh. I'm Gershwin. I play rhythm guitar. I also write most of our songs. 
Gershwin wrote a cool song last week called Barking in the Bayou. It has a great southern rock sound to it. <laughs> I'm really interested in a credence. <laughs> Barking in the Bayou. Move over. <laughs> Maxine is here. They call me the princess of percussion. I'm always in style. And <laughs> that I one face. Yeah, this is <laughs> so... Lots of cool instruments like bongo drums, snare drums, conga drums, maracas, tambourines, triangles, whoa, castanets, xylophones, and cymbals. Whoa! <laughs> whoa, castanets! So real quick... Oh, hold on. I'll let this dog talk. Go on. Okay. So, Electric Boogaloo Funk mentions uh, the reason why uh, Lightspan did this and this actually existed was because PlayStations were cheaper for schools than PCs or Macs. That's true. And they were also easier for children who needed to do learning at home as well. It was a le legit niche, but not one many people have heard about. My real name is James Harrison Richards III, but all my friends just call me Rip. I play lead guitar. My guitar, I call it Rover, it's pretty good. And I'm saving up for a new one that's really incredible. It has rosewood fingerboard with alabaster trapezoidal inlays, a lucky tremolo, just a while Oh, pickup, great, it's the nerd dog. <gasps> wow! Rift is the hound with the coolest sound around. That dog is high as fuck. All right, sorry. weed dog, what's your story? My name is Theo. I play the bass. Low. So low. That's how I say it, and that's how I play it. Theo can play a chromatic scale faster than any bass player I've ever heard. He's very well trained. <laughs> Musically speaking, that is. Oh, he still shits all over the exit. place, though. Credits. New get credit. Exit. Save. Exit. Credit. New save. Exit. Save. New Please, save. Danny. New save. New game. Danny. All right. Mm, we are the dogs who rock and roll. This has animated sequences. Wow. I can't believe it. Our first big gig. And we're not playing some dog run. This is a big city. Let's check the travel guide to see where we are. What's that? Oh, boy. Oh, here we go! Oh, Better fly right into it. Our instruments. <gasps> They're gone. I think I see one in the swamp. We gotta land and get our instruments back. Let's go to the swamp. We'll have to get back in the air soon, or we'll be late for the concert. What's that? I think it's a signpost. Alex is being blown away by this game. Oh my Did you God. have any idea this existed? No. Seriously, hundreds of these exist. Hmm. We have to find nine instruments. Which way should we go? Swamp! Swamp! Well, swamp! Let's, let's go to the swamp. Level one. Swamp level. All right, thank you, Cool Coyote, for the 25 bits. Cool Coyote says, I have arrived in time for the furry. Nice, Ew. thank you. This is pretty furry. Gunk in the swamp. Let's go the other way. But I'm sure I saw an instrument right on the other side of it. Hmm. Oh! She looks more like a rock and roll character. Yeah, I'm getting rock and roll vibes from this. Only the leaves with nouns and adjectives will hold our weight. <laughs> Let's get swinging. <laughs> Why is he wearing a bowling shirt? What is okay. On this first set of vines, we can only jump on the leaves with nouns. Makes sense. All right. Who knows Box. your parts of words sentences? I, I kind of do. Yeah, the animation in this is fantastic. Taran taped the bow onto the box. Sunset. Dinner was served at sunset. So they have all these different prompts, and each one of them has an example sentence, and they recorded voiceover for every single one of them. You can only imagine this series took a whole lot of work. I just, I can't get over the southern rock dog. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Barking in the bayou, this... I play it low and slow. I, I gotta know about this, this, this John Fogarty dog. I gotta. <laughs> Did he also oh, fight yeah. with his bandmates? <laughs> You're doing good. You really know your uh, nouns. Thank you. I want to finish at least one level okay. to see what the reward is. Mm -hmm. Cows. True. Book. Mario. Mario read aloud from the book. 
Wow, <laughs> this game stars Mario. I'm a reading. <laughs> Class. Oh, beautiful. All right. You finished one. Look at these little tiny pixel fucking lady. <laughs> Sorry, I just... One chromatic scale. Now we gotta now do one more. Now we only jump on the leaves with adjectives. Ah. Oh. Funny. Oh, hell yeah. Music's really turning up here. Sick. Oh no, the sick puppy needed medicine. You hear this rockin' music in the Yeah, background? yeah, it's really going for it. Who's putting shells in jars? I mean... Someone's gotta. Oh, Pinocchio. <laughs> that asshole. Pinocchio learned how to be honest. He did. Wow! Alright, last segment. We're gonna do this. I better get some kind of bonus FMV for this or I'll be pissed. Yeah! Bad idea. It is inter It is a little... Were, it was a little. It, it fucking sucks. It doesn't have subtitles for the instructions. So. A little bit. Mo thought the movie was boring. Well, okay, Mo. I guess you know. You Curly was entertained, however. <laughs> We've done it. And now our reward. Oh, yeah. Cut scene, cut scene. Hey, yes! There's Maxine's tambourine! Oh, good! Our new dance tune, Dig It Up, just wouldn't sound right without that. Dig it up, huh? Dig it up. Alright, uh, okay, so the music here, uh, is, uh, partially from the stock production pieces of uh, the Fresh Music Library, which you may remember from Classic Games. Level back 3. Back. Oh, I see. You gotta get that stock music mm -hmm. if you don't have any composers aboard. I went directly I to the hardest level of the canyon. Top of this ride, um, but it looks like this path is blocked by those giant rock walls. Well, let's see how good Danny is at grammar. According to the travel guide, you can break down the wall with the granite boulders that appear when you fill in the sentence on the wall. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> I don't buy these dogs as rock stars. They don't. They don't seem very cool to we me. We have to find the slab with the verb that fits correctly into the sentence on the wall. I got this one. James Good for you, can James. Speak Japanese. Oh, fa fancy la -dee da James is helping the Retro Pals translate. Pet, pet, pet. Amy's cat is a calico. Aww. I love calicos. It's our cat. Yeah. Ridden. Incorrect. <laughs> I know. <laughs> soccer players ate all of the oranges. The soccer players ate all of the oranges. <laughs> and now they're shitting themselves. Sorry. Anyway, there's a whole hell of a lot of this. And we could explore the whole series if we wanted to. But I figure why, not we ch why don't we check out the final entry in the series to see how it progressed. Okay. Let's check out K9.55. The fifth and final entry. Uh, for the record, the ISO size of this is the biggest of the series, so I expect all kinds of animation here. I expect to see all the dogs grown up, smoking. Please stop making animals smoke, Danny. They, they like doing it. I can't stop them. They keep getting into my cigs. Well, maybe you should lock, you know, like, you know, like how you have a gun safe, you need a smoke safe. To keep from our, our, all our horrible pets who all want to smoke, apparently. Get that pig out of my humidor. <laughs> oh, you, you say it helps you race? Well, go ahead. Smoke up. Please stop. Give him a I nice think... Cuban cigar before every race. I think that may be psychosomatic. I, I'm a... <laughs> but you know what? What do I know? Maybe, maybe we need to make horses smoke. Maybe... Yeah, fuck it. Maybe... Now, other than these games, I'm pretty unfamiliar with Lightspan's output, so if you know of any particularly good Lightspan K95, games, the Hollywood premiere. please post them in our Discord, because I'd be interested to know what the highlights Hollywood. are. Hollywood! Okay, you, I, you gotta hear them and see if they say anything different. 
I think we should travel to exotic places like Bermuda and Madagascar. Or how about Napoli? Perfect. And don't forget Barkbados. It's supposed to be absolutely gorgeous. Barkbados. Okay, I gotta hear these these animals talk. I wanna hear the, the low and slow dog. Yeah. How about we head to Europe to explore countries like Denmark, Sweden, and more? I wanna go to me. I'm always ready for a smorgasbord. He wants to go to Amsterdam so fucking bad. He does. <laughs> I hear it's beautiful there. And the weed is free. Hey, let's head to Snout America and visit cool spots like Bolivia and Uruguay. Yeah, let's head south to a beautiful land where the Amazon winds through forests so grand. He is. I'd like to apologize to our South American viewers for that. <laughs> you know, I need some new percussion instruments for my collection. Hey, Ella. Do you think you could book us a tour through Polynesia and Australia? Great idea, Max. Perhaps I could even swing us a vacation in Pug Lao. I hear it's a tropical paradise. This is painful, but here's the last one. Gee, I'm kind of hungry. I say we go to South Sandwich Island. Oh, oh, did you know that penguins live there? Just think of the pictures I could take. In researching this, I found out this was later an animated TV series, as someone mentioned in the, the chat. This was on Disney Channel, I believe. What? Yeah, K9.5 got at least one season of Save an animated game. series. New club sets, new game. And here it is, the best animation in the series to date. Oh, our new music video is gonna leave them howling. <laughs> Well, we still have a lot to do to complete the editing in time for the premiere. <laughs> Never fear! I'll handle the special audio recording. Oh, oh, Gershwin! You and me, we'll get the video footage. Wax up your skis, grab your scuba gear. Yeah, this lady's making We're some good faces. Free. And Theo and I will track down some famous 3D artists. Yeah. We'll travel for miles to find the best dial. Gonna photocopy that donut. Video, 3D effects, exotic sounds. We're digging up new ground in the world of music videos. Yeah, all those extras are gonna get us two paws up for sure. Oh, Skip, you gotta help me. They need extras. Extra tapes? Here. The band. No dumbass. Extras, you know, performers for their video. Oh no. But this is my one big chance. I'll sing. Lo. <laughs> I'll dance. I'll, I'll play my bassoon. <laughs> nope, not doing it. <laughs> nope, don't oh, like that. Please. You'll find your tickets in the travel books right here. Let's go! Are you um, ready to embark on an adventure? No, also this had five seasons. The five seasons? Series. Wow, so it was more as popular on TV than on the PlayStation. your audio, video, or 3D effect, yeah. you can preview your work to make sure it's okay. I thought for Once sure she was going to say 3 do We can head mm -hmm. to the editing bay to mix our master tape. Your audio, video, and 3D effects. It's so close. So where do we want to go? Canada! Canada! Oh, you want to head to Canada? It's either Canada or LA, I can't decide. Let's check out Canada. Hell yeah. This should show up on Multimedia Mondays, but... Actually, yeah. Wow! That's where I want to ski, yeah! Breathtaking views, downhill excitement, all rolled into one! There's a viewpoint halfway down the mountain that'll be perfect! Let's go! Okay, alright. You know, all these Lightspan series are presented as like a series of either three to five games, and I think... That could fill up a nice multimedia Monday session sometime. Mm hmm. Mm, okay. We'll have to navigate down 15 ski runs to get to the viewpoint. But we'll have to be careful. Four wrong turns and we'll miss it. All right, get the right grammar. This one. Let's turn it 
down a little. I asked my assistant. The oven has the capacity. Wait, wait, was this not a real show? Hold on. Is it fake? Have I been fooled? No, I'm not. I may be. There's a petition for a TV show on change.org. For, I guess. Maybe people just lied about it in a case of... Uh, it is not a real... It is not. It's in a... You write about that in a wiki full of made-up TV shows. Oh my god. You got... You I got was fucking, tricked. Oh, you got well, real own. I only looked into it for like a minute or two. Well, very quickly, let's go ahead and see if we can finish our uh, session in Canada here. Is it called, like, the made-up show wiki? Yeah, we got bamboozled. We got fooled! No way! Oh, man! Well, uh, everyone's unsubscribing, they're uh, doing chargebacks, and uh, they're taking back their bits, and it looks like... Uh... We've been advertising ourselves as the unfoolable retro streamers, but not anymore. Now you'll never know what to believe with the words coming out of our mouths. So why trust us at all? Ah, uh, you're being banned. Yeah, right, I don't... Scared for it. Fair enough. I don't blame you. I had a, a relapse. What? <laughs> well... Okay, so what it is, it's a wiki of shows that fans wish existed. <laughs> okay. But there's a whole K9.5 wiki! It's in the wiki! It's listed in the K9.5 wiki! Yeah, see? Were they fooled too? I hope I get some good-ass animation at the end of this. It has an entire thing about the production team! And DVD releases that I know didn't exist! This is... This is insane! Is this some kind, of, some kind of alternate universe thing? There's a Discord for this thing! Everybody join oh, the Discord. Man. Made. We did I it. Get the shot. Beautiful. Could you also do you want there's a K9.5 wow. Discord? Perfect footage. Hey, we better hop the slopes and head back. Oh, it's a real video game. Holy oh, shit. shit, it's an actual video I'm game. I'm playing a game. So alright, we've done enough enough learning. Now we get to have fun. This is the payoff. Such intrigue. Why would you put together such a complex lie about this series that didn't exist, much less had five seasons? Do not flood any discords. I was just... Oh no, leave them alone. I'm sure they're happy in uh, whatever reality mm -hmm. they've conjured up. Uh-huh, what? <laughs> so, in the fake wiki for this series, um, it mentions that Season 4 was originally set to premiere on September 21st, 2001, oh, but no. was delayed to November due to the aftermath of the 9-11 2 Oh, man, come on. <laughs> you can make it so 9-11 didn't happen in your alternate universe. You don't have to... whatever. I am... I don't... I am crying and... <laughs> I'm not I'm not involved. <laughs> Lucy, thank you for that. Not involved in this fake ass <laughs> shit that's going There's on. All on that these... Let's let's finish up this race. This is insane. This, this is they have like pages in, in scripts and they mention a fake they have this list of things that happened in a fake mall in the in the in the <laughs> Let's go to the last level. Let's finish this off. Okay, so the mall the fake mall in this fake show Here's Hang on. Hold on. Our latest project. It was rendered on the Greyhound 2000. You can see here how the high poly. A Greyhound 2000, not like a Gateway 2000. These effects in 3D are really something to see. Wow! And the resolution is great! The way you use light is totally out of sight. Thanks. Now let's start designing. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for the really complex rhymes you threw at me for some reason. Let's just get our job done. Let's make 10 3D wireframes to take back for the video. But be careful, 
If we run out of disk space, we'll have to start over. Oh no, not disk space. Okay, so you'll be glad to know that the, that the fictional TV series for this has a fictional mall. And the mall's anchor stores are Sears, Macy's, JCPenney, Dillard's, Burlington Coat Factory, and Dick's Sporting Goods. There's also a Claire's, a Finish Line, a Zales. Oh, it had four stores? It used to have a Borders, but it closed in 2011, thanks to the Chapter 7 bankruptcy. And it had an Ames as an anchor store, but it closed due to Chapter 7 bankruptcy in 2002. Holy shit! Listen to these sound effects. Hey, wait a minute. That one sounded familiar. Uh-huh. Uh, oops. <laughs> yeah, like, so like when you get one right, it plays a sound from Donkey Kong on 2600 for some reason. <laughs> you can't do that. Atari's gonna sue you. And it, it goes on like that. Unfortunately, the animated sequences you get are not long enough to justify playing through all these, all this educational content. I'm done learning. I don't need to learn anymore. I don't need K9.5. I... But maybe you do, and that's why I introduced this on our series. I... Some people out there may need K9.5. I'm not one of them, but hey, that's for you, if it's for you. We got a couple more minutes here, so let me very quickly show off another animal-related game. Okay. Let's finish things off with a game that some people have requested, and we're gonna very briefly play because it looks cool. Oof. This is Running Wild. Yeah, by now we've given up on the whole virtual pet charade. <laughs> we did play a good few interesting games, though. I want to play more uh, Pet and TV with my dear dog. Or Butage, for sure. No, this is unfortunate. This game is this, this game is real, but it was uh, that, K that that canine mall that was that was fake. That's amazing. Alex's mind, mind is being blown by... They have fake antagonists that were introduced in, in, in season... the 2005 season. It's... it's... You're going to have to read up on that. Yeah. Join I... their Discord. All kinds of theories being shown off in our chat. Who knows the truth? Certainly not me. Look at this. Hey, um... So who are we? Are we Braz? Oh... Uh... Gwyn? Boris? The, gen the General? Coronado? Or Mei Ling? Who do you like? The, the elephant, the elephant, the elephant. Are look we at doing that, the they're so fucking buff! Look, look at his big mouth. Ah! This is what happened to the elephants I tried to give away to seven-year-olds a few games ago. They became ago. too swole. They from... grew up, and now they're going to seek their revenge against me, as Great. they should. Let's send this elephant to the volcano. Yeah, it's weird that the male designs are one way, and the, and the female designs are all like... Sexy lady. But now I guess I know, that's very common. I know nothing about this game, so if anyone can fill me in, please do. But essentially I'm just showing this off to round out our animal-focused stream for today. Unfortunately, this doesn't have a mode where you can raise these animals. Your feet are way too fucking big. Hey, says you. I think they're perfect. I... I can't. And okay. more importantly, before Friday, I want y'all to answer this question. Is this a platformer? I considered putting this on our list, but I don't, I'm not sure. This is a racing game, I'm sorry. But you jump! Yeah, but... And you can turn off Auto Run to explore. But mainly it's a racing game, This yeah. is a racing game. It, if it has laps, it's a racing game. Oh, is that your rule? That is my rule. Yeah, chat's well, like, it's a racing game, it's a kart racer without the kart, it's a racing game. Okay, that answers that. Good. I'm glad I did that then. Like this is like this is less of a platformer than Tony Hawk or Jet Set Radio. We might have had to disqualify it on Friday if I hadn't done this. Yeah, this is unfortunately not a platformer. I wish it was though, because this is some real. Well, sorry, Running Wild, you can't be ranked, but at least we get to show you off for a few minutes. So from what I played, this seems pretty fun. 
it gives you the option to run by holding X, or you can just have it auto run, which is pretty nice. And really, the only input you have is jumping. Look at you go. What I couldn't figure out is how to punch the other animals. Apparently, they left that out. That seems like a major omission to me. Yeah! Why can't you fight? Yeah. No button on this controller will allow you to punch your fellow animals, and that's a shame. Nice! First place! Yeah, yeah. I got time for another race. Okay. Alright, Sneaker Nets calls a zoo rash. <laughs> I tell you what we autoplay, uh, the zoo race for PC. That's a good game. No, no, why? You know what I'm talking about. Yes, I do, no. That's a fantastic game. People are arguing whether or not Sonic R counts. Uh, I mean, it does have those challenges where you kind of have to go around the racetrack and navigate the environment to find collectibles. We are being asked if uh, Bad Day LA counts as a platformer. I say no because I never want to see it on stream. I don't want to play that game, but the unfortunate answer may be yes. We have to look within ourselves to figure out if it's worth it. It's not. You sure? Yes. Can I just be sure? Can I just say it's not? But, 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 American McGee. No, no, Danny, please. He did Doom levels, therefore he could make a good platformer. Yeah, okay, okay, I'm seeing folks giving pushback, thank God. I... <laughs> oh, good. I didn't have an argument. Yeah. I'd only it's... played like half an hour of Bad Day LA. That was... Yeah, even in, I think, our most shithead, ironic, dick we time in our lives. We, Not, we, we didn't even like that game at our worst. No, we were, I think we were both like, wow, this game wow, sure this is... Sucks, sucks ass. They're yeah. like, wow, this is, this is, goes, this is like, they're not even trying to be ironically racist, they're just being straight up racist. Cool. <laughs> they're First like place. much of a fucking difference. No. Jesus. No. They're stepping on you. That's so fucked up. You can't flatten an elephant. You can't. I grew up on the mean streets of uh, whatever that city was that I put my pet shop in. Honestly, I to merch, I do think that Bad Day LA was so embarrassing about some things, it really did make me shape up in a few ways because I didn't like I'm Bad like, Day LA, it'll make you a better person. It did! It did. I was like, hmm. Maybe I should yours. lay off the troll shit. I did, hey, it did I beat it. another race. Hmm? I beat another race. Very proud. I am the fastest animal. I don't know, are we done here? I'm just I kind of fucking done. around here. Well, there's a whole bunch of PS1 games featuring animals. Some available on import, some never released outside of Japan, but all of which you can download now via the magic of ISOs. Please consider it, won't you? Please. If these games looked inter interesting to you, as uh, SNES Drunk would say, play them any way you can. That's the moral of tonight. Also, oh, Mark Cerny uh, produced this, and the game we were talking about was... Bad Day LA, don't play. Terrible game, terrible game. But I'm glad we could clear up Running Wild before this uh, this Friday's Mascot Friday stream. Mm -hmm. Good. We're done. We're finished. Folks! <laughs> Thanks to our hero pig for smoking his way up to second place. If he can do it, so can you. So start smoking two packs a day, and maybe you too can win the pig race. One day. Thanks for watching. This was a very loosely connected uh, stream. <laughs> As you might imagine, it's kind of hard to put together a stream lineup based on just the title Pet in TV with My Dear Dog. Mm -hmm. But I did what I could. Maybe you found a few games you want to check out. Uh, maybe you're just better off having seen them and never having to see them again. But no matter what happened, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Yeah. We're Retro Pals. We do this sort of thing every week. Uh, every Friday, we put up a poll for our patrons. That's, uh, if you're in at the $5 level, head to patreon.com slash retropals for a new poll every week. If you vote to see Pet and TV with My Dear Dog, by God, I will make that happen. I will put together a loosely affiliated lineup of animal games and try to make it work. It kind of worked. Mm -hmm. I think it did. We survived. We sure did. No animals were harmed. I mean, Max has lung cancer, but, you know, that was his choice. <laughs> You got a couple bunch of elephants running around Japan because nine year olds can't take care of elephants. But a lot of ripped off faces. But it's okay. <laughs> but whatever. We, we we made some money, and that's all that matters in the end. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tune in this Friday for Mascot Friday. We'll put up a poll on our Twitter in the afternoon times, and you get to vote on. I think we're gonna do 3D platformers for PS1 this time. Ooh. I just gotta make a list, and on that list will not be 
uh, what was that game called? Running Wild. Running Wild. <laughs> good, a good racing game, not necessarily a platformer. I'm so, I'm so done with this. Alex, why don't you wrap us up? I'll okay. look for a host. We're also on YouTube, youtube.com slash retropiles. We post highlights of our streams there. In fact, this week we posted part two of our look at high-tech expressions. Um, that's a real wild one. Uh, we looked at, we went through all of their NES library, including uh, the Hunt for Red October, which... Every and, kid's favorite. Yeah. And it's interesting. So do check that out if you want to see uh, highlights of our streams in a more digestible way. Uh, we also have a Discord. Let me just post that link in the chat. Uh, join us if you'd like to talk about games and pets, uh, food, uh, old old TV shows. Uh, I know I've been talking a lot about uh, fucking <laughs> theme parks lately because I'm getting stir crazy. Uh, but yeah, go check that out if you want to join us there. And uh, thank you all again so very much for your support. We do appreciate it. Yeah, thanks everyone. Oh, we got a few options here. Hmm, mm, who am I going with? Arfigator's playing Narc. Alnonymous is playing Kirby Pinball Land. Ooh. That might be a good option. Darbian is unfortunately not playing Alf. I would totally host him if he was speedrunning Alf. Uh, big news in the Alf speedrunning community. Darbian, the famous speedrunner, recently set a series of world records for Alf for the Sega Master System. Oh, nice. And he's still running it. He got it under five minutes. Very exciting times. Next time he's playing it, I will host him for sure. But for now, I think we are going to go with uh, Murphigator, who is playing Mame Chronicles stuff. That's that series that BBH was being a part of last time we hosted. These are just a series of uh, just challenges issued by, I think it's Dumplechon? Just going around to a whole bunch of different arcade games, accomplishing various missions, and being rewarded for it digitally, somehow. <laughs> anyway, Murphigator is playing Narc, and Narc is a good time, so enjoy that. Have a good rest of your evening, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See ya, folks.